Hello everyone, my name is Antonina Sesti. I am ADM practice leader as part of the sales engineering organization in the international region at Microfocus. Today we are going to talk about Microfocus ALM Octane. So let's have a look at how at Microfocus we support our customers in their application delivery management. So we see here the four main areas of an application life cycle. Um, so the life cycle begins when someone has an idea about a new product or service that they can offer to their users uh, or an update or upgrade to an existing product. This must be captured, analyzed, measured against company goals and KPIs, and then approved and prioritized against other such potential projects. Then, and only then, it can be funded and uh, the work can begin. So the challenge is that there are many stakeholders in these decisions and many players in the process along the way, from the idea stage to the release into the world. And it is a struggle to keep them all aligned and in step. This whole process needs to be managed like a manufacturer would manage their product life cycle with collaboration, reporting and insights end to end. We support our clients uh, to overcome these challenges by helping, to cap helping them to capture their goals and their needs, get teams aligned uh, and, and get teams to, to align and collaborate, operate the entire cycle smoothly and efficiently with a clear visibility into the progress, compliance and, uh, and value of each and every product and project. Because of the acceleration of the whole software cycle, um, customers have a real struggle to balance the need to meet the timelines with new features while making sure that it is also um, with the highest quality. Sometimes the pressure to meet deadlines actually causes testing to take a back seat. Um, this, of course, means a lot of defects, errors get into production, which can really damage the company reputation. Much of these issues is caused by several key things. One is the uh, lack of ability to reuse tests in a consistent way. This causes testers to uh, need to, to each create their own test, causing much rework and the lack of accuracy in the results. Uh, also, um, an inability to manage all the testing cycles, making sure that, making sure what was tested and, and across what platforms, what were the results and monitoring the overall quality of the release. And as customers um, move towards more automation, the lack of ability to manage that process of triggering the right test at the right time, then capturing the results into a comprehensive view of the product quality status as measured by the original requirements and determining the risk for this release. So we help our clients with these capabilities, regardless of their development methodology from waterfall to agile to DevOps and beyond. Uh, so we help our customers to first increase their quality through modern test management and automation. Teams can share resources and tests, making results more accurate and consistent. And we provide accurate real-time insight into the quality of a product and its readiness for release. So we know that demands on testing and delivery teams is increasing exponentially. So when Agile came on the scene, it brought shorter and faster release cycles, which could only be a reality with better automation. Plus the proliferation of mobile devices, it catalyzed the exponential increase in testing. A variety of web environments, platforms, mobile devices, operating systems and form factors moved from 
hundreds of tests to thousands and from thousands to tens of thousands. So we help our customers to overcome these challenges with a functional testing portfolio that enables anyone involved in the testing and quality to easily ramp up their testing practices and test coverage. So we know also that there is this uh, uh, notion that performance testing is a late stage risk assessment often correlated with low testing and conducted in a linear manner by only uh, QA. So um, to meet the demands of rapid application delivery, modern software teams need an evolved approach, one that goes beyond traditional performance testing and extends into the end user experience. So this path to performance engineering is definitely a journey and it takes it takes time to, to adjust people and procedures, break down walls of silo teams, um, and shift the dominant paradigm in order to change processes and behavior. So Microfocus supports a proactive, continuous performance engineering discipline with a portfolio um, that includes uh, four key attributes. Uh, expansion of performance testing to new roles, integration into the CI CD process, end-to-end -end performance monitoring, non-stop improvement. So here we have combined all of these into one blueprint to represent how Microfocus ADM solutions work in a DevOps environment. So DevOps is really about doing things continuously in a co cooperative and collaborative fashion. So this means doing things in uh, many smaller bytes um, and at much higher tempo. So if done well, it allows company to be continuously planning incremental improvements, continuously making small upgrades, uh, rolling those changes out to the production system and continuously monitoring them for issues and continuously providing feedback to the planners for their inclusion into the next set of changes. So while this is a great idea and can be a game changer for companies, it requires great solutions to help manage the process and not to drop anything. We help customers in all areas of DevOps, from the planning, to the build and test, release and operation areas, while in creating an atmosphere of collaboration and feedback that helps keep the process flowing. So let's turn now uh, our attention to ALM Octane and understand uh, how ALM Octane play a fundamental role for customers who are moving uh, towards Agile and DevOps practices. Microfocus ALM Octane helps organizations implement a quality everywhere approach and improve Agile and DevOps development and testing processes to improve the flow of work across the software delivery value stream. You can tightly align quality efforts from development to release employ a broad range of tests anchored by automation and continuously monitor and improve for increased throughput. Microfocus uh, Octane fosters an open approach so that quality is visible, traceable and continuously improved by synchronizing quality and testing with agile and DevOps processes, risks are mitigated early in the software del delivery value stream, speeding the way for faster delivery and improved customer satisfaction. Say that, I'm going to walk you through now over a brief overview demonstration of ALM Octane that highlights its core capabilities and some of the new features in the latest releases.
So let's start off with a concrete example and set the stage for the demonstration. So imagine with me that we are in a fictional organization called Advantage, Advantage Incorporated, similar to an Amazon.com. So uh, underneath Advantage Incorporated, we have a worldwide consumer portfolio and a prime portfolio. But then underneath the prime portfolio, there are various large solutions that are developed as part of Advantage Prime from Advantage Music, Advantage Video to Advantage Online Shopping. And the reason we call it a large solution is because there might be multiple products or systems that teams deliver as part of the Advantage Online Shopping, from the core.com web interface to the payment to the entire custom-built warehouse platform to the application that the shipping company uses. I like to start out with that because as we hope into the uh, Octane interface, you can see that Octane is workspace driven. So right now we are currently in the Advantage Online Shopping workspace, but we also have workspaces for Advantage Music, Advantage Video, the roll up to Advantage Prime. And that's really important because anything that you see inside, inside this demonstration today um, know that the same thing for a different large solution could be happening in a different workspace. But ultimately, you could be reporting at that prime level to give stakeholders visibility um, into everything that's happened, not just across teams and programs, but also across large solutions. So as we mentioned before, uh, we've aligned uh, our investments, investment areas it, to the business value that our customers get out of Octane. So I'm going to use these investment areas to drive this demonstration today. So first you'll see built-in quality as an investment area. Mm, we are uh, the quality company uh, Quality is core to our DNA. Uh, our product ancestry includes names like Lord Runner, Quality Center, all the names that you are familiar with. I mean, uh, Quick Test Professional, Wind Runner, Test Director, if you want to go all the way that far back. So it only makes sense that um, Octane has built in at its core. And we believe that quality is everyone's responsibility. So if you look in the Octane interface, you see that we have dedicated quality module, but also note that test can be defined um, uh, in any of the modules from the backlog, team backlog, the pipeline module, um, the um, requirements module. Um, so uh, no matter your job role um, or your development methodology, uh, we provide comprehensive quality capabilities in Octane. So let's take a basic example here. So let's say I'm working uh, in an agile fashion and we are here in the middle, in the middle uh, of a sprint, so iteration one, and uh, I am on my money bag team. And I can see my backlog here, and this is just representing a team backlog. I've got my team members over here uh, that have their velocity and capacity items that are assigned to them. Uh, and I can see all of my backlog uh, items listed. So these are um, backlog items that can be defined inside of Octane or um, as you can see here, we've got a, a Jira ID uh, associated to it. Um, so uh, these could be items that actually exist over in Jira. So if I click view in Jira, um, this automatically takes me over to the same story that uh, actually originated over from Jira. Uh, so, and perhaps uh, uh, this is where um, my development team members are working. 
But you can see also it brought with it the uh, ALM Octane test coverage, which showing me all the information about tests um, that are run against this. So if I want to go back and see the six tests in ALM Octane, I can do that in a link back over to Octane directly to the test tab. Um, to show, okay, these are all the tests that are covering that specific user story. So this is a very simple example. However, it's not simple in practice. Um, organizations that work with, um, with us have multiple agile delivery tools, uh, maybe within a single silo inside of an, of an organization. And so pulling uh, all of that data together can be a real, uh, a real challenge. Uh, and so you saw the integration here with Jira. However, uh, we have uh, integration out to other agile tools that come with our free connector uh, that comes with a purchase of an, an ALM Octane license called MF Connect. Uh, so we can synchronize all of that data in there and we'll get a little bit more into that as I talk about scaled agile delivery here in a little bit. Now, uh, we know most of our customers operate in a hybrid approach to deliver the idea of 100%. Um, Agile is brilliant in theory, but not all projects necessarily suit the Agile development methodology. This is precisely uh, why we've been introduced the ALM QC test injection into Octane so that customers can work in parallel um, if they desire. Uh, so consider the use case where the development team and the business stakeholder are working in an agile fashion. They can utilize Octane for their purposes, but the QA organization can continue to use their existing assets in uh, ALM uh, quality center uh, that uh, you are seeing here. Uh, which is the repository for automated tests, business process tests, etc. And the objection then occurs at a regularly scheduled interval. So uh, it's not an utility, it's a, an out of the box thing. And both products starting uh, um, with an ALM version uh, 15.5, and this is really remove the need for a CI or a tool as a middleman. So ultimately, what this leads is to uh, complete visibility into all parts of the application lifecycle. And additionally, this is particularly useful for our customers operating in a bimodal uh, manner. So where some projects are waterfall and some are agile, um, ALM can be used side by side with Octane and then the test results can be synchronized over into Octane for full visibility. Full dashboarding across all projects regardless of the uh, delivery methodology. And here you can see all the quality metri metrics coming from ALM you see in uh, one single dashboard. So next, we have customers completely transforming their BDD practices by leveraging Octane. As an example, let's say we are planning for a new feature on our site to promote to our delivery in certain locations for advantage online shopping. Uh, our business stakeholder gets together with uh, the development uh, and the QA to begin defining and agreed, agreeing upon concrete examples of system behavior for, for that feature. Uh, this is done via the creation of a BDD specification in Octane, uh, the feature represented in the specification as a whole. And the concrete example of a system behavior are defined as scenarios. So let me pause here because it takes a little bit of understanding of BDD to understand the value. Um, so, um, uh, 
First of all, behavior driven development is what BDD stands for. And as a practice, it's often been mistaken for, for a testing process, but its original intent was to facilitate better communication and collaboration between business stakeholders and uh, developers. So when it's properly implemented, the system design is actually driven by the business behavior, uh, not anything else. When we define this in Octane, we see that Octane really serves as a central location for this agreed upon and living documentation uh, of this uh, of the system behavior. So um, once, the, once this is uh, agreed upon and completed, the test can be run manually. Uh, so um, we can see all the uh, details and uh, during the run, we can mark each uh, step as passed or failed uh, and so on. Um, but once it's ready to be automated, so the business stakeholder uh, can uh, uh, mark uh, the specification that is ready for automation. So now our developer can download the specification uh, to their ID plugin and begin automating the concrete examples. And so the rest of the loop is then closed when we when they commit the files to the single source of truth, which is the, the source code repository. And it's, a, it's built in a CI system like uh, uh, Jenkins, for example. And with our extensive uh, 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 integration capabilities with the, the CI, uh, the automated results of the scenario um, will be uh, fully traceable now back into uh, Octane. Also, uh, from a quality perspective, we are all in. Uh, when it comes to insight and analytics, one of the recent introductions is the automation ROI. With our automation ROI, our customers can understand whether or not they are deriving the same benefits they expected from test automation. If you look, this insight allows you to filter the general scope, which specific releases, automated tests, manual tests, test, etc. And also matrix escaped uh, defects pinpoint the cycle time, the defect cost, which compares the number of defects identified by automated test versus manual test. And you can look at the results and say, okay, is my development cycle time decreasing with the introduction of test automation or as an automation increases my number of defects and production decrease. So with Octane, you can understand and answers to these questions and others to either A, continue your existing process, which has significant return on investment, or B, and more importantly, augment or pivot um, your, your existing process to improve the return on investment that you thought you had. Um, so finally, we recognize the shift from project to product in all industry verticals, uh, which is essentially to say uh, products embody value from the customer's point of view. So let's organize it ourselves around product to innovate and deliver better. So in Octane, we have defined what are called application modules. Uh, you can see those here defined along the left hand side and these represent core functional areas um, of, of a, a product or, or service. Uh, and with each of these application module, we can associate features, tests um, uh, and defects. And as we move from release to release, uh, tests are run, features are completed or abandoned, defects are resolved, fixed or prioritized, and even incidents come to, into Octane from production. And now we have the ability to say, okay, this is definitive representation of quality for my product. Not to mention, as I drill into each of these, uh, um, these core area, areas of my application along the left-hand side, any graphs or widgets that I have defined in my overview section will now filter accordingly.
So if I go in and look at the COVID-19 application module, I can uh, filter directly only the entities associated to this specific area of the application, and I can see that there are only three defects associated to it. If I go back up at uh, features level, then I can get several uh, widgets um, uh, related to different metrics, including last, uh, last run status by browser, or I can even add more widgets uh, from the gallery or even additional custom graph. Um, so uh, if uh, we go back at the dashboards, uh, and we go to the um, quality by application module heat map, we can see that we have all the application module listed here. The size of these boxes are, represented, um, represent, are representing the number of story points associated to it, while if it's green or, green or red, it depends from different criteria. So we can uh, see in the configuration area that um, the uh, box is red, whether there are more than zero defects or there are uh, defects that are coming from production that are either very high critical or high from a severity standpoint or if more than 49% of uh, runs um, uh, failed in the, in the QA environment. So, say that, let's go um, and see in the COVID-19 application module, we have only one item matching this uh, criteria. Uh, and I could drill down in it. So now I'm going to cover the final three investment areas in, uh, in one uh, uh, swoop. So in Octane, we introduced the program capability, which is a container of sorts of entities. So whether I'm uh, um, in the backlog or the quality module or the pipeline module at any point in time, I can select all or all one or many programs to best display the data that I need. Uh, so this is important. If we jump back to the concrete example given earlier, let's consider a simple business process of ordering an item. So let's just say it's a physical item order and as a user I click and then two days later I receive the item to my door. And then the Advantage Online Shopping or the Advantage Incorporated as a company receives the money. Under the covers, it's much more complicated, right? There is, in terms of a flow operationally, if you consider this a value stream, there is uh, the charge to payment system, but then the, the warehouse platform handles uh, the receiving the PO, picking and verify the item, dispatching the item, allocating at delivery center, and actually delivering it. Uh, which is ultimately done by the ship um, uh, and maybe the driver uh, uh, is using a, an application to scan the item at the door uh, and then underneath each of these systems are teams that have kind of two hands uh, of the value streams you have. On one end, you have the planning, which you know, multiple teams may be that are delivering the same, uh, the, the advantage pay uh, using Jira, Rally, or Azure boards, and then the advantage warehouse platform team using Octane, Doors, ClickUp, uh, LMQC, uh, and the advantage ship IT is maybe using Octane um, as well. So, but then after a code commit, think all of the different tools that are supporting the continuous integration and continuous delivery uh, pipeline. And it's very important that up this layer where there is the payment system, the warehouse platform and the ship IT, uh, that when something breaks in this SA particular business process, we know exactly where it broke, why and who needs to fix it. And so Octane really serves, as you know, uh, as an overlay over all these different programs. And you can consider Advantage Pay Warehouse Platform and Advantage Ship IT, all programs or products that are supported. So let's uh, let's take a look at what uh, looks like inside of Octane. Octane programs are less than traditional pinback definition of a program, but instead it can be more synonymous with products or services that comprise a large solution. 
uh, in programming increments then or PIs are defined for a common development cadence. Each group of teams then plans and executes according to these predictable time bounds windows and can define milestones that occur along the way. And these milestones can be anything, a release, a demo, or a marketing promotion, you name it. And so during PI planning, as epics are destructured into feature, a feature's product management in each program can begin to groom the product, the program backlog. So in our example here, the product manager uh, uh, for the pay at program uses Octane out of the box support for uh, WSJ. JF or weighted shorted job first. Uh, this is just a prioritization model that used to by many companies uh, to assist in ranking uh, the priorities of epics or features and with it programs can ensure what truly gets in, built into product or solutions reflect the strategy and the priority of the business. So then with Octane product management can also determine uh, can also uh, determine uh, and detect upstream and downstream dependencies. So independent features and backlog items are planned in a, in a problematic order. Uh, Octane alerts everyone and displays a dependency map detailing all the problem problematic uh, uh, links. Now remember uh, advantage online shopping is uh, a large uh, solution. Uh, so by displaying each program items, the program black backlog suddenly becomes a, a solution backlog. Uh, each program continues to develop on a common cadence to create a pattern of consistency for stakeholders. Now, as we said, at the other hand of the value stream, or on the other side of code commit octane can also filter by programming the pipelines module which is connected directly uh, to the CI systems like Jenkins or Team City, Team City, Bitbucket, etc. And so now program managers can also filter all the pipelines that are related to each of the programs that are defined inside of octane. And to talk about DevOps intelligence, I really want to start in a chaotic moment because that's where really um, DevOps teams live. They can be on a journey toward towards transformation, but production environments are pumping and lights are on. So, uh, Octane integrates natively with all of the market leading CI CD solutions out of the box, and that integration is displayed uh, in the pipeline module. Uh, and the reason we do this is because CI CD solution, our data warehouses for code commits, automated environment provisioning, functional tests, uh, run security scans, performance test results, build results, and so on. And each of these individual pipelines here in Octane across the top represents a job or a pipeline in a CI CD system. And in this case, we are integrating with multiple Jenkins instances uh, and multiple instances of Team City and Bamboo. So we are pulling all that desperate data into one location. And because this is the integration point, that means all the tests run in a CI CD pipeline are auto discovered and created in a, a Octane. And uh, all code commits in the CI/CD pipeline uh, include um, may include uh, also uh, information related to uh, all the uh, uh, vulnerabilities uh, identified by security tools such as Fortify on Demand, Sonar Cube, uh, that are created and directly displayed uh, in Octane. The openness and power of Octane enables organizations to determine the overall quality of the production, product or service, as well as determine what and who broke the build. And all of this offers developers feedback on their work as fast as possible, finding a needle in a haystack with a few clicks in Octane. So thank you.
thank you so much for watching um, this uh, uh, Octane demonstration. I know it was very quickly. Uh, there is a lot more to cover in Octane. Um, and now let's go for the Q&A session. <laughs>